sorry. He was shaking a whole lot. He even tried to uh, make us tell jokes and stuff like that so he wouldn't have to think about it. Feels like my femur, yo. <laughs> Feels hey. like my tibia and tibia. <laughs> Finally, the paramedics arrive. But in order to do their job, they have to get Forrest's shoe off, and it's not easy. I right, gotta get your shoe off, okay? Realizing how bad the break is, they rush him to the hospital. Ah! Ah! We thought about him being on crutches at least, you know, forever, walking with a cane or something. Then we didn't know if it was going to be fixable or not. Forrest recalls the painful jump. I caught the heel flip perfect and I landed and then for some reason my weight shifted backwards and instead of doing a split, my right leg came behind me. So it was almost like I sat on my leg and it just snapped. Ah! It was definitely more painful than the wrist. I'd say like two times at least. Fortunately, Forrest is able to avoid surgery. I got really lucky that they didn't have to do surgery because I mean I broke both the bones and I could have easily had a lot of rehab ahead of me and I didn't I got lucky even though some time has passed these boys will never forget these terrible accidents he was fortunate that it was everything healed like it should he's fortunate that he's learned from it I think he was very lucky that it wasn't his knee because if it was, he could have been in some serious danger, never walking again. He's an amazing skateboarder, and it's just like, I mean, that's dedication when you stick with it after stuff like that. I'm a little more hesitant now to do a lot bigger things, but I'm still going to keep skating no matter what. I'm, I'm hooked. I can't stop. Still ahead. A bodyboarder finds terror atop a dangerous 27-foot wave. And skydivers take to the air for the wildest ride of their lives. And it's going to be a bumpy landing. If you've got a sports moment...